This is going to be a guide on how to install Serum 2 presets. First, you want to open up a Serum 2 on a track in your DAW. I have Ableton, so I just opened up my Serum 2 into Ableton. Then you're gonna to want to go to the top right and click on Menu. And when you click on Menu, you'll see an option to open the Serum 2 presets folder. Now, when you install Serum 2, it will automatically put the Serum 2 presets folder into a default location. So I'm gonna open this and it's gonna locate that folder for me. And now it opens up a Finder window and it opens up all of the different folders that are in my Serum 2 presets folder. Now, what you can do is you can actually move this default location and that's what I did. So if we take a look down at the bottom, you can see I've got my Dropbox folder documents in music uh, presets, Serum 2 presets. Your location might be different uh, depending on if you move this folder at all, but let me just show you how you can move this folder if you do want to move it. So I'm just gonna change my view here and this Serum 2 presets folder, let's say I want to move this into a different location. You can move it to your desktop. If you want to use Dropbox like I do, you can move it to your Dropbox. I'm just gonna move this out of the location that it's in. And now I'm gonna go back to my Serum 2 and I'm gonna remove this from track and reopen a new instance of Serum 2. And what's gonna happen is you'll get this notification that says Serum 2 presets folder not found because it's going to that original location, not seeing it, now you've got to relink the location. So you can go to locate, and now I'm gonna locate the folder in my finder, and it is going to be this Serum 2 presets folder, so it just relinked it automatically. And when you do that, you're probably gonna to wanna to go and do rescan folders on disk, so that rescans all the folders, and also go into your database here, and go ahead and click OK so it can rebuild your whole database of uh, presets. So I'm gonna do rescan, I'm gonna click, click here and also do rescan, because I just got an error. So let's, let's actually just close this and reopen a new instance, go back to our database rebuilding. So now it just rebuilt everything. So I should be able to locate all of my presets in this browser window here. So I'm just gonna move that back into my folder and that I had it in because I don't want it to be in that other folder. Just, that was just as an example. So I'm gonna move that back and go ahead and do this whole process again of closing Serum, reopening it and relocate it again. There it is, relocate it. Now I'm gonna close it again, reopen it and go to this browser. It's gonna rebuild my database. Now, once you have located that Serum presets folder, then you need to drag and drop your presets into that folder. So I will do click on this menu and open Serum 2 presets folder, and it's gonna open up the presets folder. Then I'm gonna go into the presets folder, and now it is going to open up this presets folder. You have the presets in the factory, the packs. There is a shortcut to go to the Serum 1 presets folder if you had Serum 1 before. Now I'm gonna go into user and see there's a little file here that says save your, pre your presets in this folder. So now I've got a folder of presets here. I'm just gonna drag this folder of presets into this user folder. I'm just gonna do option, copy it over, Sam test presets. We've got a couple of Serum 2 presets in there. Now go back to your Serum 2 and do a, so let, if I click on here, at the top here, this is where you can view your presets and go to, to user. You will see the presets in here. And if you don't see them, then you're gonna to want to do rescan folders on disk and that will rescan it so that you will see these presets pop up. Now that is the first way. There's a second way that you can do this. If you download a pack and it is in the format dot serum pack, then you're gonna to want to go up to the menu go to import preset pack. And this is going to only work for files that are in this new Serum 2 format that is dot Serum pack. And I'm going to go to my desktop and I just created a test Serum pack here. I named it test and the file extension at the end is going to be dot Serum pack. So when I open this, I should get a confirmation notification that says preset pack installed 
test, that was the name of the pack that I made, was successfully installed to Sam Smyers directories, five presets. So I installed five presets. Now, if I go to the top here, you can see this new option here that says packs, because it wasn't there before, but now that pack pops up because I didn't have any packs, now I have a pack. Sam Smyers, that's the author of the pack. And then test was a name and then the presets. Now this whole thing where you have this separated into packs and this user, I don't know if I like that. I think I'd rather have those in this user folder. So now what you can do is I'm gonna go to the browser page and go to where I just installed this pack. So you can locate it here. And we've got the Sam Smyers pack, test pack, right click show in finder. Now it's gonna show me where I installed these in my finder window. Let's do as columns, just so we can see where it was installed in this packs folder. Now this test folder, I, I just am gonna drag this into my user folder because I want that to be in my user folder instead of the packs folder. So now I can go to my window here, test, we've got the presets there. So I don't have to do the rescan, but if they don't show up, then you can do the rescan folders on disk. And also in this browser window, if this doesn't update, then you can always do the rescan database or erase and rebuild database if you need to relocate any presets that aren't showing up that you dragged into your preset folders. Now, just something a little extra, that dot .serum pack, how did I create that and where did that even come from? Well, in order to create that, you can go to your preset browser. So let's say you are installing a bunch of, making a bunch of presets and you have collections of presets. So in my user folder, I have this test folder that I just created and, and dragged in there, but let's say I want to create a new folder in here. So let's say I have this folder that's the SAM test presets. Well, what I can do is right click on here and it says create and export pack. And this is where I can create a dot serum pack. I can name it, I can set the author name and add some other descriptors in here and also add some artwork. And then it will tell you some more information. Your preset pack will be installed as serum slash serum test presets. And then I can create the pack and then it will create that dot serum test file for me. So I can do save preset pack and then I can save that where I want to save it. So, that. so that's where you get that new dot serum pack format. So that's how you install presets into serum two.